Against the wall stands a replica bookshelf, perhaps symbolically opening a passageway between two moments in time. This table and chairs, the games, magazines, and even household appliances survived the war and today help visitors transcend to a world where the Frank family and four others spent 761 days hiding from the Nazis. But they didn't do it alone. In 2021, the University of South Carolina unveiled its partnership with the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam, making it one of only four official partner sites in the world. We are proud and excited to welcome the Anne Frank Center at the University of South Carolina as the official partner of the Anne Frank House in North America. We've been working together for a long period of time with a group of excellent Holocaust educators and scholars in South Carolina. The life story of Anne Frank is, of course, a window into the past, telling the story of a young girl in hiding during the Holocaust. But it also encourages us to reflect on important questions for our own times, on who we are and, maybe even more important, who we want to be. It taps into the question, what makes us human? At the Anne Frank Center in Columbia, photos, video, quotes, and even some original artifacts are thoughtfully placed throughout the building. A replica of Anne's diary sits on a period-specific desk, a bookshelf in another room showcases multiple editions of the diary in several languages. And it's only a sampling of the more than 70 translations available to readers worldwide. Our exhibit is called Anne Frank, A History for Today for a reason, and that is that Otto Frank insisted that we learn not just history lessons, but the lessons of history. So it's important for us to think about what happened and what it means for us today. A history for today suggests it still has relevance for us. So we needed to step back, think about its meaning and how it relates to issues in the present. And that's an invitation that we help students facilitate themselves. So uh, while uh, Anne Frank was a victim of the Holocaust, of course, there is tyranny that exists today around the world, not that far away, by the way, but also in remote, remote parts of the world. So we want children to have a gentle uh, introduction to the fact that the world is a beautiful and wonderful place, but at the same time can be a dangerous uh, and unjust place as well. And, and we think they can leave here not only with education about the Holocaust and World War II, but about, but about their world today. The Anne Frank House has an educational philosophy they call the three R's. Uh, remember, reflect, and respond. And to remember, we learn the history. So we have two rooms dedicated to the timeline, what happened. And then we have two rooms dedicated to reflection. And we reflect on themes such as what does it mean to be an upstander, to be a helper? What motivates people to take on risk and danger uh, to support others? And what was life like in hiding? And the third R is to respond, and that's the idea that uh, what we learn here should inspire our own actions into the future. And we have two seminar rooms that we can use to use uh, breakout educational activities and explore those kinds of questions. There, there are the uh, connections with American slavery are really profound. And I think without visiting this place, you might not be aware of them, but the exhibits uh, show how uh, Adolf Hitler was influenced by uh, how the uh, earlier Americans uh, treated uh, uh, African people who were brought here to be enslaved. And Mein Kampf is painful for us today for many reasons. One of them is that he took the very worst parts of American history and held that up as his model for what he wanted Germany to be. That included uh, the gunning down, as he put it, of hundreds of thousands of Native American people, and especially in his view, a racial conception of citizenship, which held black Americans in a lower status. By sharing Anne's legacy, the University of South Carolina's Anne Frank Center seeks to inspire their commitment to never be bystanders and instead stand up together against inequality 
wherever it may exist. Anne's words help us to better understand the challenges of our own times. And Frank was born in the same year as Dr. Martin Luther King, in 1929, just a few months apart. They both fell victim to racist ideologies. But their dreams continue to inspire people all over the world. And we are very excited that the Anne Frank Center at the University of South Carolina will help us to bring Anne's dreams to people all over the United States of America and Canada. Thank you.